Oh, well, hey, Ben. It's Jamie. That's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, listen, I just want to talk to you guys about a few things, okay? I got a few topics. Definitely got to harp on this whole conversation of Chris Brown being better than Michael Jackson, okay? Definitely have to touch on that. We got to talk about Miss uh, Tina Knowles, Owen, uh, Richard. What is it? Is it Lawson or Dawson? Mr. Richard, the ex-husband. She owed that man like $300,000. I know, girl. We got to get to that because I'm like, girl, what the hell is going on? Then we got to talk about Krishan and what's going on with her baby, her baby being in CPS. And girl, I didn't even know that. It's terrible, okay? But make sure you guys are indeed coming into the video. You are indeed liking up the video like the good people do. Like up the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hello? Do what you gotta do. Do what you're supposed to do, period, okay? But before we really get into things, I came across this tweet, and I want to bring it to y'all attention. And I want y'all to let me know y'all thoughts, okay? So what this tweet reads is, it says, I'm sorry, uh... Car comes before apartment. A car can be used to increase funds and to get your apartment. An apartment ain't going to help you to get to and from work. Okay. So um, I would love to hear you guys' uh, thoughts on which one is more important. Is it a car or is it an apartment? I understand to a lot of y'all, the answer is both of them are important. You're not wrong. However, we're asking the heavy on the or part, car or apartment. In my personal, I think the apartment is more important. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can sleep in your car if you want to, but I feel like there means like, I feel like you probably could get you an Uber or something. You probably could get you a ride or, or something like that, potentially, depending on where you work, okay? Um, if you have a home, you could walk, Right. You could walk to a job, get you a job that's close in the area. If possibly, you probably could walk to that job versus driving. It depends on how your area is set up. Um, I also feel like, you know, when she says that a car can be used to increase funds, I feel like a home can be used to increase funds, too. If you start a side hustle inside of your home, potentially, you know, a lot of things that you may need, you could just have ordered to the house, you know, have it shipped to the house. It'll get delivered to the house. Um, and do what you need to do. Um, also when she says a car can't get you to and from work, that is the case for some people, but a lot of people have been able to find work from home jobs. Okay. They've been able to find some work from home jobs and some people may have, may be able to make enough to where if they got to go in the office two days out the week, they could potentially just pay to get to and from work. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, girl. Prices can be very high. So it just really is a pen, all right? And then everybody just have different types of jobs where your schedule may be required. You know, you may have to show up at different. Like if you're in retail, I feel like those hours are sporadic of when you have to show up and stuff. So it depends. But I feel like a car, uh, uh, an apartment is just as important as a car. Yeah, a car is definitely going to get you to and from. But I don't know. I just feel like you could get stuff done in the house, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess. Like, y'all got to let me know y'all thoughts. I'm sure we're going to differ in opinions. And I just want to hear what you guys have to say. And whether you think the car is more important than the apartment. Because I feel like, get you an apartment. You'll get you a car. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, like, if you know, like, somebody may be, you may be able to get a ride from somebody, whether it's for free or whether you can get you an Uber or something like that. Um, If you got a car, cool, but where you going to bathe that? You're going to go to the gym, I guess, get you a gym membership and just pull up to the gym, work out. That way you can go ahead and just shower that morning or something like that, get you a little uh, Planet Fitness, a little $10, $20, get you a Crunch Fitness membership so you can, like, shower and stuff. But some of them gyms don't be open 24 hours for you hours for you to get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all know y'all love to hunch on folks, girl. And sometimes it ain't comfortable for y'all to be hunching out there in them cars. And y'all need a house. And if you have a child or children, girl, get you a fucking apartment. Do not be sitting around and these kids be toted around in no damn car. Okay, so I mean, that's just what it is that I'm thinking. Like, even if you got to get you a studio apartment and you just got to stay down until you come up, stay down until you come up, get you a studio apartment, finesse it how you can finesse it, 
And then, you know, come on up. I mean, hell, the way cars set up now, the car knows about damn as high as the damn rent, to be honest. Now, you can get you a used vehicle that's going to be more feasible for your budget. But then, girl, ain't that the gag when you get a used one, depending on how many miles you got on the car, girl, you're going to have to take get that damn car taken care of. Car work can be very expensive. Whereas when it comes to that apartment and some shit go down, you could just call maintenance, girl. Now, the question is, how long is it going to take maintenance ass to get out there? But anyway... <clears throat> You're going to call maintenance and you're going to tell maintenance to take care of it. That ain't nothing that's coming out your pocket because you already giving them their coinage on the front end. You feel what I'm saying? So if you get a used vehicle, girl, that's going to be the gag for me, in my opinion, that you got to sit up there and pay for all the stuff to get done on the car. Still got to pay the car note, too. Like, girl, that's a lot. That's like, girl, just get your house. Get your house and, and, and run somebody else's car down to the ground. Somebody that do got a job. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, a car can be used to increase funds. But when you say that, all I'm thinking about is you working for like, um, what is it, DoorDash or Uber Eats or something like that. And it's just like, girl, do that is they paying like that for real, for real? Doing Instacart, is they really paying to where it's worth you not having a home? Because some people may not even have a relative's house they could stay at. So they will be sleeping in the car. It's like, I don't Good luck. All right, you guys hop on into the conversation. And, girl, please let me know what it is that y'all thinking about, Okay. There's that. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. OK. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is Miss um, Garcelle Bouveau or Bouvet. Is that how you say her name? I, is that how you say it? Garcelle of Real Housewives of um, Beverly Hills. She's also an actress as well. Well, she got a chance to sit down with Andy Cohen and she was over there talking about how she had got on this app right a dating app and unfortunately with her being on this dating app girl they charged her like i'm a, i'm gonna play it because i want i want to hear y'all i want to get you guys thoughts about it because i just feel like if you are on an app to date people i don't think you should really be charged i feel like they may charge a lot of celebrities because you're up there like it may be like a certain type of exclusive app where you only get to connect with executives and people on your level ceos and other celebrities and all this and that but i feel like that's a goop and a gag to be honest that they out there finessing y'all out y'all coin i just don't think that it should be a fee like that but anywho girl let's go ahead and check out what she had to say a couple of years ago said to me you should really go on the apps i have one it's really like ceos the top guys and she goes you should go on it and i go oh, i don't know she goes no trust me and i said okay I'll, I'll go on it and so a week later i'm like you know what i should do it so i go on i go on it what and app? uh i have to remember i want to say oh, league league league, oh, league. league. and uh so i go on it Ooh. and i'm looking and you have to pay and i'm like I don't want to pay to meet a guy. I mean, you shouldn't have that seems to. A little weird. That's but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So anyway, so I sign up and it was like $399 a week. These are high end guys. So wow. you got to pay for it. So I go on it. You got to pay for it? I'm confused. Why don't you just do research on what a high end guys be at and just go over there and hang out and act like you dropped your phone or something near them? I don't know, girl. You, you the actress. You know how to come up with a scheme or whatever like that, girl. You done met your last, uh, what, what your, your last baby daddy was rich as hell, wasn't he? How you met him? Who your last ex-husband? But maybe, maybe not, because he your ex, not child. I don't know, but um, let's keep going. Because I want to sign $400, bitch. Some people don't even want to pay $4, $3.99. And I'm talking about $3.99. So where the hell you get three? You talking about $399, girl? Hell no. Nah. And I look and I'm like, mm, it's not really my type of thing. So I get off it. So cut to maybe six, eight months later. Ooh. I'm I'm on my app stuff and my son Jax comes down and I go, hey, Jax, there's a particular app that I want to get off of. Like, how do I do it? And he comes, he get, grabs my phone and he goes, mom, why do you have all these things that you're paying for? He goes, a dating app? I go, no, I'm not on a dating app. Six thousand dollars no. later e -T -C -H. <laughs> i wanted to throw up i couldn't believe it. i never checked out you didn't cancel and you Did never you get checked your damn account either any dates out of that for six not grand one not, not one not one dick not one not, <laughs> not one, one. <laughs> not one not one for dick. six thousand dollars six grand yeah, i can't believe that? that bethany frank cha ain't that some shit Six thousand dollars, B I T C H. I can't. <clears throat> and then this is the thing for me. 
you know Garcelle has a coin, baby, when she not checking her account like that. Dad, first of all, you first of all, let me go back. You know she got a coin that this bitch didn't give a damn to spend four hundred dollars on a damn apps apps to connect with a a man that happens to be up there with it, okay, in C suites somewhere. So you knew how much money she had then that she can afford to do every week, okay? Signed up for it, forgets about it, and six thousand dollars later, now you shook and you shocked, bitch. What? China, they probably could finesse me on, on maybe $60, bitch. Maybe 60 if that. And you done let $6,000 slide by you? I don't know how you did that, Miss Garcelle. And didn't get not now piece of date. Now, see, I will say some part of that is your fault because I feel like if you would have been more active on the app, then you could have potentially found you a few prospects in my personal Okay, but you left the app. Them people probably was swiping right and all kind of left on you or something and probably hopped in your DMs or whatever. But you had went ghost on them. So what they supposed to do about that? So some part of that is a piece of her own fault. Okay, just a piece of her own fault. But Miss Ma'am got coin, honey. Miss Ma'am is rich. That's a rich B-I-T-C-H, okay? You over there just finessing 6000 Girl, well, congratulations. And good, ah, congratulations on recognizing what you lost and good luck on finding you somebody else that's going to spend 6000 on you and you ain't got to spend 6000 on trying to get a date that you ain't going to never get. But anyway, girl, let's keep going. So Usher, let's get into Usher real quick because you guys know that he ended up canceling the first day of his tour, which was supposed to be, I believe, August 14th in Atlanta. Well, he put a statement out letting people know he needs to get his rest and stuff. And some people were complaining. They were upset. I saw uh, one comment where a person was like oh I drove hours to see you this is really messed up you knew this information the night before you should have been told us a long time ago um and what else did they say I bet you be at the other shows though that's supposed to be scheduled in Atlanta all right it looks like he won't be it looks like all of the shows that he had for the 14th the 16th and the 17th have all been rescheduled to December I would be upset. I'm not going to lie. I probably would still go because, you know, I, I would love to see Usher. So I'll just go in December. But I I would be mad because, you know, I would have had my outfit ready. It's August time frame. I know for the Leos and your birthday is close to that range. You know what I'm saying? I would feel away like, dang, I thought I was going to celebrate my birthday, bringing it in with Usher, B.I.T. Now I got to wait till damn near Christmas just to celebrate. I'll be trying to probably sell my damn tickets. I probably would be in my feelings. And either I'm going to sell my tickets or I'm going to go ahead and like, girl, let me just go on here to go. Right. Um, but the man got an injury and he does open up to talk about, you know, what that injury is. But I, I don't really fault the people for being upset about it when you've made all kind of plans, got your hair done, scheduled your makeup appointments or whatever you're going to do. Only to find out that, listen, it's a it's a real serious thing. So he canceled that appointment or at least that those concerts. And he decided to come forth and tell people even more of what was going on with him. And this is what Usher said. He says earlier this week, I suffered an injury to my neck while rehearsing to provide my fans with the greatest Usher show of all time. My hope was that with physical therapy and medical treatment, I would be able to overcome the injury and be ready for opening night. Unfortunately, let me go back to that opening night let me go back to why i probably would have gotten my feelings heavily in august because what they're going to do is put usher's entire concert all over social media just like they did with chris brown and i ain't gonna lie i enjoy watching chris brown so i will not skip over a a, a, a reel or a tiktok because the show was that damn good um so but with the usher show if i had tickets to the very beginning parts of the show i want to see it before everybody else see it before they start putting this shit all over social media i would have been a little salty you know what i'm saying i probably would have still went to mama sell my ticket i'm lying i probably still would have went up in that bitch you know what i'm saying but i would have been a little piece of salty okay can we do a ticket exchange don't let me just sell my tickets can i trade with somebody okay like if it's a state over and he finna go to north carolina or some shit like that and I want to go to that show. If somebody can't make it, can we swap? Okay, you can get my ticket for December, bitch, if you okay with it. Let me just get your ticket. Y'all, they need to create some type of state swap program or something. But anywho, 
Let's keep going. So, of course, he needs to get the physical therapy and the medical treatment that he needs. He says, unfortunately, the injury has not healed yet. And my doctors have instructed me not to perform any shows this week. The good news is that the doctors are saying that with appropriate rest and treatment, I should be ready to commence the tour in Washington, D.C. on August 20th. OK, so I know. Listen, the people in D.C. is excited and happy because, yes, y'all get to see he going to do the opening with you guys. Um, but he goes on to say that he loves his fans. Thanks everybody for the understanding that this injury must be healed so that he can give everybody 100% excellence. Now I pray to God that this is going to be healed for Usher. If it's not healed by the 20th, I can see him canceling his, his concerts for the rest of the month in hopes of being ready for September. I'm not sure how serious his neck injury is girl, but for you to cancel on the 14th, and then now you're putting a statement out saying, hey, 16th and 17th are canceled. I should be ready on the 20th, which is Monday. I don't know. I don't know what kind of neck injury it is, but I promise y'all I can see Usher canceling this whole thing for the month of August and pushing it back to just make sure that he's good. But, girl, that is some crazy stuff. I hate that for Usher. I hope that he gets better. You have to be understanding. I feel like Usher is dipping into his business to tell the people what's going on. And I don't blame him. I, not, it's, I don't really blame I We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Because... I'm never going to forget Anita Baker letting them people come all the way down to the State Farm Arena, walk inside to find out from the person on the mic that the shit is canceled. And still to this day have not provided the people with an explanation to let them know whether she was sick or whether she was in diva mode and just did not feel like showing the fuck up. Okay, so I feel like Usher is being, you know, even giving he's being even more transparent than what he needs to be in my personal. And I think that people should really be understanding. And this man literally has a damn injury like to his neck. I feel like that's very serious. Okay. Trying to show out and put a show on for y'all. Okay. So girl, get that man his time, get that man his time to get back together and show up or don't show up. But the other folks going to be there period. All right. But y'all leave y'all thoughts about that. Now, as we speak on Usher and we get to Chris Brown, and you know Chris Brown recently had his um, concert, um, his 11-11 tour. They said it did amazingly well. Every single show he had was sold the hell out, okay? Chris Brown has made millions upon millions upon millions on that show, all right? I do wonder, how much is he actually going to make after everybody has been paid, okay? You got your taxes, they got to be paid. You got the vendors that have contributed and helped out with the with the setup and breakdown. You got the dancers, I'm sure it's wardrobe and stuff. I don't know if the dancers had any, you know, hair or they had to take care of their own hair and makeup to slim down on costs or whatever. I'm just wondering, okay? Traveling expenses for everybody to get to and from every concert and stuff, hotel expenses, I am just wondering what does he really take home after it's all said and done. But I, I, I still think it's going to be in the millions range for sure. I do. OK, <clears throat> I do believe that. So that man had got him some coinage up. <sighs> Go ahead, Mr. Christopher, honey. Go ahead. But listen, Tank had a chance to sit down with uh, Stephen A. Smith. When he sits down with Stephen A. Smith, he says something that is going to definitely cause an uproar amongst the people. The people is really finna be on some stuff, okay? And I want us to go ahead and check out what he says to uh, Stephen A. Smith. So let's get to this. Chris Brown is, in fact, better than Michael Jackson. What? <laughs> do you understand what you're saying? Tank, do you understand what you're saying, my man? I mean, you, 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 you admired, you revered, you, 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 you're associated with music, my brother. Everybody loves and respects you. If there was Magic Johnson, now there is LeBron James. That is the ultimate evolution of a man who can play all five positions. If we talk about Chris Brown, we're talking about the evolution of Michael Jackson, the evolution of Usher, the evolution of me, the evolution of Genuine. That is what this kid is. Oh, come on, Tay. Tay, Tay come on, man. Come on, man. When I saw Chris Brown perform, he's the best in the world right now. The best in the world, one of one. I'm just challenging the next level. Like, I didn't know there was a next level after Michael Jackson. Chris Brown is in 
All right, so y'all just heard that little clip of what it is that Tank had to say about Chris Brown being that guy um, and being better than Michael Jackson, okay? I don't know if I like that conversation. For me, personally, I feel like when you say that for somebody that came before them and you try to say, oh, this person is better than them, I just feel like that's a disregard for what they gave us, you know, and maybe that's not what he meant, but I just feel like you're disregarding all that they gave us. Like, I see it as if it wasn't them, it wouldn't be the next person. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person did what they did so this next person can come in and do their part, too. So. I can't say that, you know, I think Chris is amazing at what he does. I think he is a great performer. The mic was definitely on. He be singing his ass off. Okay. I'm like, the breath control is ridiculous for you to be over there dancing your ass off. And then you over there singing and stuff. And he has to make sure people know he's singing because he'll say extra stuff beyond, you know, just the song. So they know he'll add a, ooh, or add this or that and be like, okay, come on. He'll say something. So, you know, my mic on bitch. Okay. I really do this. So Chris is definitely phenomenal at what he does, but I don't, I feel like that's a little discredit to Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Who was like uh, simply amazing worldwide. Um, and I do believe that, that Christopher is worldwide worldwide. I feel like he would be even bigger, you know, if there wasn't a situation with the Rihanna situation and them and them stifling him from being at award shows and getting awards and all of that, you know, and I feel like his numbers are higher and he's gotten more platinum records than some of the people that's actually been able to go on to get awards, you know, so everybody likes to do this. I hate Chris. I, I hate Chris or whatever but it'd be interesting because it don't really be translating y'all still be selling out this man's shows and making his songs go platinums platinum and he be having number one records and albums and shit okay so some not and somebody is somebody milk ain't clean somebody lying all right but all in all um i don't really like that it's like, i don't think that's nice like I mean, Chris is one of one at this time. Michael is not around, unfortunately. I feel like, you know, that's not fair. I feel like Michael would be even bigger now as well um, if he, you know, did not pass away or anything. So it's like, eh, I don't know, guys. Like, y'all let me know y'all thoughts. But this is what Tank says. He says, vocal ability, Chris Brown. Writing ability, Chris Brown. Producing ability, Chris Brown. Dancing ability, Chris Brown. Okay, now I feel like out of these four, it's definitely giving three Chris Brown. Y'all let me know which four or if you feel like all four are giving MJ, okay? Now, I do feel like in my personal, a lot of the older people that watch that's watching this video that were that was really here during the MJ come up. I do expect you guys to say MJ. I'll be very shocked if I see any of you guys to say you're Chris Brown. I'll be very shocked if I see younger people say MJ. OK, um, but I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Dancing ability. I do think that, in my opinion, Chris Brown got that. I do. I feel like Chris Brown be doing all kind of flips, twists, dips, all of this stuff that Michael Jackson would not be doing. Yes, Michael Jackson did moonwalking and stuff, but Michael Jackson went to a certain place where he saw people dancing and he learned how to mimic their dances and stuff. Like He was kind of like taught some things. Chris Brown just be out here, just whatever he see, I'm going to do this shit. Oh, okay, boom, I can do that. Woo -woo. Okay, that's how that goes. Um, I don't think like, I think he just, he does a lot of freestyling with dancing so I don't feel like nobody like really taught him okay uh producing ability I don't recall Michael doing a lot of producing Chris Brown has thousands of songs that he hasn't even released yet hasn't even released yet and the crazy thing is even though he got all these albums he be putting all these songs on one album he still be having mixtapes too so I don't know girl. he be having a lot of he be producing a lot of shit the man got a, a studio in, in his house and stuff so I don't know I would have to look at the, the actual you know I need to look at some real numbers to see how many records has Michael uh, produced versus Chris Brown now I'm still not saying that Chris Brown is better than MJ but I'm just going off of this list okay writing ability because Chris Brown has more, I don't know, see, I got to see, because I would think that Chris got more songs than Michael. But if y'all want to compare more hits than Michael, I'm not, I got to look at what the hits are. But I do believe that Chris writes, I would say 98% of his music. So I'm not sure what Michael writes. Um, vocal ability, I don't know. I feel like they probably neck and neck just a little piece. 
I feel like they neck and neck. I mean, why he ain't put performing performance like just like inter, as an entertainer? Like they both badass. It's like I don't know. I just don't think it's fully fair to say that he's better than MJ. He says, I know you're going to say MJ's catalog is crazy, songs are classic, etc. but that was because of a lot of great people involved who are some of the greatest at what they do. Chris Brown orchestrates his own movement from studio to visual to show. He not lying. He not lying with that. He not lying. But I still feel like that's not fair, okay? If it wasn't no MJ, it would never be no CB. We just had a conversation about Lotto saying that she feels like Lil' Kim is the GOAT. And people are upset about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. And you have some people that may feel like Nicki Minaj is better than Lil' Kim or whatever the case is. But I still feel like the same way with the MJ and the CB situation that if there was no Lil' Kim, there would not have been no Nicki. Like, it, you don't have to like it, but you're going to have to accept it. All right. So I'm like, I don't think that's really fair. So then anywho, he says no handouts, no sponsors. And all while the world was against him, I'm ready to argue. Now, look, this right here is where it gets a little shaky because people definitely tried to ice that man out. People out to this day continue, try, continues to try to cancel um, Chris Brown, even when they throw out the narrative of Chris Brown, you know, abused women and this, that, that. Some people are going to say, well, what about MJ and the allegations of him molesting and all the girls? It's going to be a, it's going to be a, the people going to be arguing for days. OK, so that's why I'm like, let's just focus on the talent of the guys. Let's just focus this on the talent. OK, for the time being, let's put it on that. We want to focus on the talent, the range, the vocal ability, writing, producing, dancing, overall entertaining ab ability. Let's focus on that. I still feel like with Chris Brown having all of this, knowing everybody was against him, continuing to have sold out tours, platinum records, overselling albums and everything. I still don't think that Chris Brown. <laughs> I, I don't y'all fight me, girl. I still can't say that he is better than MJ. I can't. But Chris Brown don't even feel that. So let us go ahead and check out um, this interview that he did over there with Big Boy. OK, let's get into this. You've always given it to Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. but now you're getting people where they say, man, Chris is better than, you know what I'm saying? Mm, that's How cap. do you take that? That's cap. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. That is cap. And the reason why I'm, I'm saying I'm glad you said that, because I don't consider myself better than Ma Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we already know when it comes to dancing and things of that nature. You got that. Yeah. You was, you was the OG with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, if, if I'm not better than Michael. Yeah. How can Chris Brown be better than Michael? At all. Yeah, He's but, so but, goofy. but how do you take if that? If I'm you not better like, than Michael. I mean, I stayed the hell up out of it. I, you right, know, right, right. It 100, I wouldn't even be breathing or even being able to sing a song if that man didn't exist. Right. So um, I don't know if they look at it as the Jordan Kobe thing, but I don't, I can't even look at it. He's light years ahead, away. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it, it, there is no competing with him. You is know it, what I'm saying? Is it crazy? No, hell no. I got shrines and <laughs> shit in here. Of this man hanging up in my house. Hell no. Nah, is he crazy, man? Okay. Even Chris don't believe that he's better than Michael. So why would you sit up there? And, and I don't blame Chris. I be saying back like, I, 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 my name been there, I ain't in it. Don't put me in this. Don't put me in this. I do not have. Uh-uh. Okay. Period. You know, and I know some people were in the comments saying how um, Chris hasn't toured overseas and he's not loved internationally. And I'm like, I'm, I beg to differ. Are you sure? Because the Asians over there definitely be crazy about him. And since he's done this 11-11 tour, I've been seeing quite a few people um, over in Europe, okay, online, begging him to bring the tour over there. So, listen, I don't know. But don't, I mean, just because he ain't did it yet, don't be shocked. If he do do it and he sell out, then what's going to be the conversation? The conversation should really be honestly what I said before. It should be that. If there was no MJ, there would not be a CB. So let's not have this argument that he's better than. Okay, but let's go ahead and check it out because he has more to say on this subject. Do you subject. feel like the new Michael Jackson? Uh, personally, my real honest opinion, no. Nobody can replace that man. That man kind of like, he's still the, the end all be all when it comes to uh, entertainment. Like Jesus to me, you know? So I, I feel like I could never be in his his shoes. I can only like be inspired by him. I don't want to imitate him because his magic is his magic. So me being able to even have that conversation, 
I'm I'm flattered, but I'm, I'm also like honest with myself. Like hell, no, nah, you ain't fucking mm -hmm. better than no Michael Jackson. Hell, nah. no. Do you feel like the new? All right, so y'all just heard what Mr. Christopher Brown had to say. He don't even feel like he better than that man, and I support that message or those messages, okay? But it seemed like Tank is ready to argue about it. So if y'all want to argue, please go over there to Tank page after you let me know, girl, no, CB is better or no, MJ is better or whatever. I agree, disagree, whatever. Go on over there and fight with Tank because Tank said he ready to throw them hands, son. So there's that. Good luck, all right? Um, Mama Tina, Mama Tina filed for that uh, divorce from Mr. Richard, okay, and it, girl, now I thought they had been had it settled, because I thought they divorced over a year ago, but I see, it seems like it was never settled, okay, but now it is, they're saying that she has agreed to pay him a one-time fee of $300,000 just to settle the divorce, and I'm confused on why she paying him $300,000, what you get, what he need that for, why? Was you what? What's that? Why she got to give you money? Well, she said, "Didn't have your own money when you came in. It you were successful too." And they had that whole acting studio together, or at least it was his, and they was bringing it together, merging, doing it together. What was really going on? Okay, but they say she got to pay him three hundred thousand. Neither one of them will be paying spousal support to the other. Additionally, they're saying Miss Knowles agreed to pay off any credit cards that was in her name during the marriage and to cover all expenses tied to their uh household. Yeah, I'm just telling y'all what the people said. Now, they also go on to say that the community property that they owned, uh, she will get to keep. She also will be keeping a 2018 Tesla purchase while they was married. She will also maintain full ownership of their 2020 Bentley and her uh, matriarch book deal um, that she has going on. Additionally, she will receive a 1% stake in Kirby Beauty Management LLC. And we'll get to keep the furniture and artwork she currently possesses in addition to creative works, ideas, drafts, and other materials that she created during the marriage. Okay, they said that the agreement also specifies that um, her separate property, which included her Los Angeles home and the property in Texas, she will also be keeping that from my understanding as well as retirement accounts and any earnings accrued since their separation. All right. So that's what they're saying. They said Lawson was granted all rights to his studio, artwork, jewelry, clothing, royalties, and his SAG pension. Mm, I didn't even know SAG gets a pension, but girl, yeah, that's, he get to keep that. Um, they said he will also maintain ownership of the 2021 Cadillac Escalade and various bank and retirement accounts in addition to assuming all outstanding payments due to his company, Richard Lawson Studios. He will also keep and earned royalties and all creative works he developed during the marriage. The judge rules that Lawson would be responsible for settling the credit card debt associated with the Cadillac he previously shared with Ms. Knowles, okay? So that's what's going on, all right? So, yeah, they are done with each other. All right, they was married for eight years, two more years, and it would have been 10, but they are done. She paid that man at 300000 and she ain't losing a whole lot now that I think about it. Mama Tina was coined up for her to be able to have to pay this man three hundred k. She about to earn that three hundred k back real quick since then. But I just want to know why she even got to get him 300000 What was that about? Did y'all have a house that ended up being sold or something? You had to pay him 300000 300000 I guess he should have just signed off and just said, listen, you came, you get to keep what you came in with. I'm going to keep what I came in with. Deuces. So let's go. But there's that. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and comments down below on Miss uh, Tina Knowles and this divorce that she had from Mr. Richard. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move on because as we know, Miss Krishan Rock is locked the hell up, unfortunately. We don't know how much longer she's going to be locked up. It was looking like she had four years for each charge that she had, um, but we don't know what the ultimate verdict was going to be. Like, oh, she's going to only do two years or she'll do a year or four years. Not sure. We do know that Blueface has been sentenced to about four years, so he won't be going nowhere. He'll be staying for a little longer. And um, she's in limbo, too. But who's in limbo more than anything is their son. And I really hate that for him. I really feel bad because her sister came out to let people know that he was in CPS custody. And I'm like, what the hell? 
So nobody in on either side of the family wanted this baby. And I just hope that whoever has him at this time is taking care of him properly. Like that is just so sad. I really hate it for this baby junior, but y'all go ahead and let's check this out and see what the sister has to say. I seen that and I was like, let me call around the people that I know that still be tapped in that I got watching my family. I seen that and I was like, let me call around the people that I know that still be tapped in that I got watching my family while I'm doing my big one or whatever. So I call sources. I ask sources that's actually in front of me that, that be tapped into what's going on with my family. And it was like, oh yeah, I heard that's true. I'm like, that ain't true. As soon as I seen it, that some CPS got, I look my heart, even though I don't, I never even met her child. Yeah, I never met him. No. Uh, I never met him, so it was like my instincts, the same instincts that came to me when Kushan was getting eggs thrown at her and we was on that sprint and me and her was just arguing before they opened those doors and they started throwing eggs at her. That same instincts of protect your fucking people, protect your loved one. The same instinct came in when I seen that Kwame sitting right there like two, three hours ago when I was getting her like, I was like, oh, I start calling you. Is it really happening? And it mind you, everybody know that I'm booked all the way up until October as of right now. I'm taking bookings in October as we speak, but mind you, my children are good. My children are perfectly good. You hear me, Brandon? <laughs> They're perfectly fine. The first thing I thought of was how am I going to put Junior with my children and make sure I still get the bag, but make sure he's good. Because Queen and Michael is good. You hear me? <laughs> I'm make sure he's, that just kicked in. I never met him. Me and her got the worst situation. People have been comparing this shit to, what's the can of Abel? Abel shit, what is it? Oh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. They the been comparing to that. And, and I still seen, first, like, I, 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 my heart still was like racing like a motherfucker um, when I seen that. And I was asking everybody that kind of could know, hey, is this really true? Because, you know, sometimes people just say shit on Instagram. So my whole point of saying this is like, I, I felt the, the same like, as if we ain't never go through what we went through, bitch. What can I do? You know what I mean? Like, what can I do? I know I'm not even home with my children every day because I'm out working every day. But my children are with me every day, if that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and that would be the same thing for him. Like, if we could figure I don't want him in the system. And I don't even got to. That's how crazy. That's how crazy the situation is. I don't even want to talk to him. This is crazy. I don't want him in the system. It, mind you, it's not because like, oh, oh, I, it's, it's because like at the end of the day, we're not just a, a, a regular family. Everybody knows about what the fuck is going on. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, all you fucking weirdos and that people that's praying on this shit like that, I get it. Y'all mad at her. You mad at her. Bitch, I'm mad at her. I'm disappointed in her. But he has nothing to do with that. That child has nothing to do with that. So my first instincts kicked in, bitch. See what you can do to help it. All right. So y'all just heard what uh, Krishan's sister had to say. I really hate that that baby is in CPS. And she didn't even know about it. So did CPS even contact the family? And if they did contact her side of the family, does the family not talk to her for her to find out about it? Because she said that she didn't know about it. She had to call around to find out for people to confirm that it was indeed true. That is just so sad. So sad. Like, girl, y'all got one dysfunctional family. Hopefully she is willing to get the baby, especially if she's going to be home and present and available. She said her kid is good. So, I mean, I will hope that he's going to be good. But it's just, I, I don't really feel fully sorry for Krishan at all because she knew what she was doing. She don't care. She's shown that she don't give a damn. But more so for her child is who I care about because it's clear that he needs special attention. And I just hope that whoever has him is giving him the proper care that he's supposed to be receiving at this time. Like, child, that's just sad. But y'all could leave y'all thoughts and comments down below on how y'all feel about Miss Krishan and the family, the sister now trying to do something about it. What about everybody else? All these siblings, don't they got about six siblings? Like, where is everybody? I mean, maybe they got stuff to do, but God, damn, y'all just let the baby go into the car. I can't. I can't. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. That's all that I got. I am Jamie. That's me, honey. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
my city in Kodasak. Coming, I swing like Soldier Rat. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the Gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh-huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, but drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they doubted me, uh-huh. all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. Uh-huh. I been dropping these haters like calories, uh-huh. cross out, I came back with some batteries, stand for my honor, but you run no gunner, packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble, I done came too far to be.